Hey everybody, it's Darby from Blue Television Games. Here I am making a little design for you guys in Mario Paint, attempting to at least. Uh, the mouse I have for Super Nintendo, I think I need to pick up a new one. It wasn't working or responding that well, but could just be the game. Anyways, I made an animation, I made some custom music, and I drew this little blue television logo for you guys. Um, we're going to take a look at it here in a second. It, it came out kind of like an abomination, <laughs> but I tried. I just thought I'd start this off kind of fun here. We'll be looking at the similarities between Super Mario Maker and Mario Paint today. Wow. Amazing. Okay, so that wasn't very good, but I tried. Now I'm painting a picture so that I can show you one of the first similarities that Mario Maker and Super Mario Maker share. Uh, I tried to make Mario look like he was from Mario Maker in this picture. Alright, so when we go to save and Mario Paint, you might notice the robot looks a lot like the robot from Super Mario Maker. There's the retro robot there, taking his time, saving a level. Next up we have the fly swatting game. This is it from uh, Mario Paint. And then here on the left now we have the Super Mario Maker version, which is a little different. Here we are swatting the flies away. They both include also the bees. In the Mario Paint version, you could collect more hands for lives. You know, it's a little different. They also both had bombs. And of course, both games had a boss at the end to fight. And they both end very similarly too. With a little congratulations and the hands clapping. So here we are, I'm going to show you how there's actually the little rocket that erases in both games as well. Put this little rocket to erase your uh, design in Mario Paint, like so. Okay, now over to Super Mario Maker. An updated version, but it does the same thing. And I'll show you the Undo Dog also is making a return from Mario Paint here. So I could undo what I erased. However, in Mario Paint there's multiple ways you can erase your design. I'll go ahead and show these off. Undo dog again. And you'll be using the undo dog a lot in Mario Paint. The thing that's a little trickier is Mario Paint could only remember one undo, so if you made two mistakes in a row, you would have to stick to the normal eraser to uh, fix your design. Now all this stuff's a little outdated. Um, games like this don't age as well. But it's very nostalgic to see all these old ways to erase. I used to play this game for hours. And looking back now, it's funny how easily entertained I was. Believe it or not, this game was amazing at one time. And the simple erase right there. Okay, let's take a look at the music editor in Mario Paint. Notice the little frog right now? He's used to place sound effects in Super Mario Maker.
I'll go ahead and show you these other songs they included. You click on this little clam or diamond thing and it plays a little song for you as well. And the one-up mushroom. Uh-oh. It's that weird face and that weird noise. They also kept that for Super Mario Maker. Not sure why they brought that sound back. It always creeped me out as a kid, but for whatever reason, it does make an appearance in Super Mario Maker. You can click on the little creepy face and place it all over your level. Whoever decided to uh, put this in the game must have had a good laugh, because I just such a random thing to include. Here we are back in Mario Paint with it again. Seeing what all notes we can get with this face. I wish they would have included the uh, Mario Paint song editor in Super Mario Maker. It would make making music levels and music for your levels so much easier. Here's all the other sounds. Ugh. There you go. There's the music editor in Mario Paint with some similarities from Super Mario Maker. This one's rather small, but one of the hands you can pick in Super Mario Maker, this particular hand here, it looks a lot like and most likely is supposed to be the design hand from Mario Paint. If you look at them both at the same time here, they uh, definitely share a lot of similarities. Now we're at the title screen. Notice that hand is still there. We'll check out all the different things that happen when you click on the letters in Mario Paint's title screen. And then we'll take a look at Super Mario Maker's title screen and do the same thing. That one's really cool. I really like this one too. All the stuff you see here you could actually design in Mario Paint. Kind of similar to that weird effect where you can mess up the screen in Super Mario Maker. Uh, let's see, pressing N just shows you the staff here. And finally T lets you draw. I sped this up a little. It went really slow in this mode. Alright, there you have it. Now Super Mario Maker. Super Mario First Maker. Super just drops out the uh, superstars. I love the bird. I love that effect too. I don't know if you can put that in uh, somehow when you're playing. That would be cool to be able to play some levels with this weird mode here. Changing it, make it look all retro. And he gives you a spring, of course. Finally, letter R gives you a boot. Mm -hmm. 
Now when you upload, you might recognize these guys. This is in Super Mario Maker here. If you ever played Mario Paint, you definitely recognize those two people. Here's their retro version, which is when the game was loading it would show. And here's another one in the music selection of a guy working out, one of those exercise people if you want to call them that, I guess. Alright, well that's a look at most of the similarities I could find in Super Mario Maker and Mario Paint. Like I said before, if you guys find some more, post them in the comments. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Thank you.